Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I want to talk about customer lifetime value or CLTV and how you can apply scenario analysis to customer lifetime value in Tableau. In a typical SaaS company, customer lifetime value is one of the most important metrics to indicate the overall health of the business. CLTV refers to the revenue you will expect to get from a customer during his or her lifetime over which your product or service will be of value to that customer. For example, if a customer pays for your product or service for three months, then the amount he or she will pay during these three months will determine the lifetime value of this customer. If a SaaS company wants to be profitable, then the customer lifetime value must be greater than the cost of acquisition. When a company spends way more cost in acquisition rather than retaining existing customers, then the business is not going to survive. Therefore, understanding and monitoring the customer lifetime value over acquisition becomes very important. There are three main parts in the customer lifetime value computation. Our pool, gross profit margin, and customer lifetime. Our pool represents the average revenue per paying customer. Gross profit margin stands for the percent of revenue that is profit. Customer lifetime is how long your customers are going to stay with the business. With that said, let's see how we can develop a dashboard to calculate the customer lifetime value in Tableau. Step one, fit the retention curve. Cohort retention provides the percent of customers who sign up in the first month are still going to be around in each successive month. In this view, for each acquired customer, the cohort retention rate starts with 100%. Based on when the customers sign up, you want to track their retention rate in each successive month after their initial sign up throughout the entire customer lifetime. For example, my M1 retention rate is around 83.4%, my M2 retention rate is around 70.6%, and my M3 retention rate is around 60%, so on and so forth. Step 2. You will need to compute the monthly revenue, which is ARPU times retention rate. The monthly revenue represents the amount of money you expect to bring in from a customer in a given month. Once done, then you want to know how much of your revenue is profit. You will need to compute the gross profit margin, which equals to the total revenue minus the cost of goods sold divided by total revenue. Now you have all the components to compute customer lifetime value. Customer lifetime value is the expected revenue, which is R pool times your cohort retention rate times gross profit margin. Not only do you want to compute the customer lifetime value, you will also want to compare the end month customer lifetime value to your cost of customer acquisition and compute the CLTV to CAC ratio. In this dashboard, I have my forecasting time period set to be 12 months. As you can see here, my 12 months customer lifetime value is $170.2 per customer. My cost of customer acquisition is $50. On average, my customers expect to stay with the business for about 6.6 .6 months and the CLTV to CAC ratio is 3.4. This means that I expect to receive a total of $3.4 customer lifetime value for every dollar of customer acquisition cost. SaaS companies with CLTV to CAC ratio above 3 grow at an average of 42% annual rate, while those at 3 or below grow at a much lower pace. While computing and monitoring customer lifetime value and customer acquisition costs are very important, you also want to run scenario analysis to see the expected outcome by varying different levers you can pull on acquisition and or retention. In Tableau, you can use the parameter function to run scenario analysis. 
For example, now I want to vary my cost of goods sold and to see the expected impact on customer lifetime value. First, I create a new parameter called what if cost of goods sold. Because I want this parameter to be rate of change, I set the data type to be float and the display format to be percentage. I want a range of values in between 0 and 100%, so in the allowable value section, I click range, and below the range of values, I choose 0 and 1 with step size 0 0.01. This means I want to vary my cost of goods sold change to be an increment of 1%, then click OK. Next. I need to update my formula to leverage the newly created what if cost of goods sold parameter. So I created a new calculated field called what if cost of goods sold. In this calculation, I put the formula as cost of goods sold times one plus my newly created parameter. Because cost of goods sold is also used in the gross profit margin computation, I will also need to update the formula. As you can see here, I have updated a formula to use my newly created calculated field rather than the original cost of goods sold. For example, I will need to increase my cost of goods sold by 10%. While holding everything else constant, you can see the 12 months customer lifetime value has dropped from previous $170 to $137. Also, my CLTV to CAC ratio has dropped to 2.74. Following the same concept, you can also perform scenario analysis with other metrics such as ARPU forecasting period, and customer acquisition cost. What is good is that you can also dynamically change multiple parameters at the same time to understand how the changes in a combination of metrics can impact the customer lifetime value. Customer lifetime value and CLTV to CAC ratio is very useful to understand the unit economics and the health of your business. Keep in mind that you do not want to spend more on acquisition than total return from an existing customer. Okay, I hope you find this video helpful. You can leave a comment if there are any questions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.